Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I want to talk to you guys about Shiba Inu and about the crypto market. What's happening here? We're seeing a little bit more of a sell off here in the past hour or two. Where will be the bottom of this uh, crypto dip or will it keep on dipping? <laughs> also, I have seen a phenomenon happen in the past week or two where articles are coming out with false numbers, right? That are off by uh, a thousand times, right? So if they're supposed to be a, a billion, they're actually writing a trillion, right? Uh, and things like that. We'll talk about what's the latest mistake that's out there now in the ecosystem uh, and what we need to be careful from. Um, of course, I'm not saying that I'm perfect every single time, but uh, we need we need to check ourselves sometimes, okay? So all I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile, send out the good good vibes, right? Smishity smash the like button. You know my theory that the likes on the videos help the price of Shiba Inu. So, <laughs> so smash it right now. And because it's Saturday, let's do the Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0 0.402321, down about 6%. You can see that the market started uh, dipping here in the last uh, few hours, right? And we saw Shiba Inu drop about 8% in the last two hours. It's not just Shiba Inu, but what's interesting here is that you can see the dominance, Bitcoin dominance in that same time frame has been going up. So the crypto market, you can see here, Pepe is down 10%. Sol is down 7%. Doge is down 7%. Uh, I saw AVAX was down about 7 8%. ICP down 8%, right? So as you can see that we are seeing a sell-off across the board, whereas Bitcoin is flat on the day, right? 66,968. So it seems that someone is holding up Bitcoin and Ethereum, by the way. Ethereum is also holding up pretty nicely so, because what could potentially be happening here is people look at Bitcoin and Ethereum as the anchor of, of their portfolios. So many people, the first thing that they would sell, if there's a little bit of fear, they sell uh, their altcoins and then they would move on to Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is very interesting. Right. And this could you know, give us indications to actually the opposite that would potentially happen. Because if you take a look, right, Shiba Inu, for example, is down about 50% from the high right of this cycle. Right. If we if we take a look, right, it's down about 50%. Uh, yeah, 49.3. Uh, Pepe is down also uh, about 50% from, from the high, the peak here, right, 51, something like that. Um, Doge is, is a little, little bit less because it uh, went up less, right? So it went up less, but it's 28%. Uh, and if you look even at assets that, you know, are considered not meme coins, but let's say AVAX, for example, right? Uh, is down also 44, 45%. Uh, Sol was already at 200, right? Uh, and it uh, pulled back here. So all across the board, right? From the high, you can say it's about 33, 35%. All across the board, we're seeing a pullback here in the past few weeks, um, and even Ethereum is down, right? But I'll show you in just a second with something interesting, 21% even for Ethereum. But Bitcoin is very close. Bitcoin has been very close to the all-time high. It's only down 8 or 9%. So Bitcoin is holding really strong, right? Someone got angry at me yesterday in the comment section saying, I don't know anything. The fact that I said that Bitcoin dropping only 4 or 5% was very a bullish movement, right? Um, and you're seeing here, it's only about 7 or 8% from, from its all-time high. It's showing massive strength. Or maybe you couldn't call it bullish, but you can call it strength. Right. Um, and the fact that it's been able to hold why altcoins are falling off could have something to do with, the, of course, the halving that is coming up in you know, less than uh, six days here. Right. Uh, the crypto fear, of course, from uh, last night uh, tanked uh, at uh, 62, sorry, 72. Um, you can see here, um, you know, dropping down. Right. Last time we on April 3rd, April 4th, we were at 70. Right, so April 3rd, uh, April 4th was when we dropped down to the lower level of 64. 
But as you can see, for example, on April 4th, uh, Shiba Inu was at uh, 2,500, and now it's dropped down a, a lot more to 2,300. And if you look at other assets, uh, the same kind of action, right? Uh, Ethereum maybe is about the same, but if you look uh, across the board right here, XRP is lower, of course, Pepe is lower, right? Uh, Sol is, is a lot lower, right? Uh, Doge is a lot lower, right? Um, so you can see that even then when there was a lot of fear, right? Of course, WIF is also down, by the way, 50%. We were talking about assets that had moved up big. Uh, Dog WIF hat is also down big. Um, so this is an interesting part of the, the crypto cycle. You know, there's a, a lot of red here uh, bouncing on the the bubbles, right? You know, a lot of, a lot of red. But if we remember, right, and we look at this here in the cycles, this was the run-up that happened in uh, 2017. And inside these run-ups, there was a, you know, there was a minus 38, minus 38, minus 33, minus 38, minus 36, minus 29. So even in the, and this was all post-having, by the way, the pre-having pullback has, uh, has never been that big, but even inside the, the, the run-ups, you have big pullbacks, right? So it will be very interesting to see how low can it go, right, in this specific, uh, you know, pullback, right? Um, and you can take advantage of it if you're interested, right? You can go short on the market, but you need to be very careful, right? Our partner Margex will give you that opportunity uh, to go long or short using leverage, but you have to make sure you understand the risks of leverage because I read yesterday that many people got liquidated with very low leverage because, for example, Pepe dropped like 25%. So people were 3x leverage on Pepe and they still got liquidated. Only 3x, right? And they got liquidated because of that 25% drop. So you need to be very, very careful. You need to know what you're doing and how to use leverage. If you are interested, uh, link is in the description down below. Please trade responsibly. Uh, you can make a lot of money with leverage, but when we go to extremes, you can lose a lot of money as well on liquidation. And now I saw this article talking about how 14.8 trillion Shiba Inu was liquidated in 24 hours. And actually, I saw this headline on two sites. Uh, and I was like, wait a second, 14.8 trillion, that's a lot. That that, that doesn't make sense uh, to me that... Uh, you know, 14.8 trillion Shiba Inu was uh, liquidated. So then I went down in the article, right? And it says here um, that 3.63 uh, million of Shiba Inu was liquidated. And I said, okay, 3.6 million is, is not is not even a, a trillion, right? Uh, and so I, of course, I went to my calculator and 3.6 million uh, in Shiba Inu is actually 153 uh, billion. So, <laughs> um, so it's not even close to 14.8 uh, trillion, right? Um, and we did see, uh, you know, liquidations here on the long for Shiba Inu. For most of it, right, is on the long, not on the short. Uh, you can see here 3.31 million on the regular SHIB contract and 1.51 million on the thousand SHIB contract. We have to understand also from a headline like this, uh, when you say it was um, liquidated, this also doesn't mean that people that had uh, Shiba Inu in their regular wallets were selling. It was a situation where people that were on exchanges and using the, those platforms uh, use these contracts, right, uh, leverage contracts, in order to maximize profits on the long side, and they got liquidated, but and, and their positions were closed but they actually never held Shiba Inu in their wallets, right? They just use the exchange as a tool. Uh, the exchange will hold the asset uh, and, and they don't buy and sell according to your uh, contracts. They might do that in the future, right? When they recalibrate everything, but in, in the moment, they're not doing that. So it, it kind of creates, um, you know, buying and selling pressure because they do have to buy or sell your position, uh, but it's not actually affecting the 1.4 million Shiba Inu holders, right? So that's important to remember. Yes, buying and selling happens on the uh, exchange um, and in, in, it affects the price uh, on the exchange, uh, but it doesn't affect the actual amount of Shiba Inu holders, meaning that the people that got, got liquidated here, it could actually be one or two people that had 3 million uh, you know, Shiba Inu uh, leveraged, right? Um, or it was more than 3.3, 3. it's like 4.8 with the two together, right? <clears throat> 
So that's in, that's important to remember as well. Um, we are dipping here a little bit more, um, not yet at the support level of uh, 2100, uh, where Shiba Inu uh, touched uh, yesterday. It will be interesting to see uh, where the price of Shiba Inu uh, uh, gets here. This is the lowest that we have been, right? Since we broke out, since Shiba Inu broke out uh, back here uh, in um, March, the beginning of March, um, we, of course, are still 100% uh, higher than we were <laughs> at the end of February. But, of course, this is not a... Uh, favorable situation for people that you know bought here or bought here or you know or bought here um so i understand that people are a little bit freaking out uh but this is again not my first rodeo this is not the first time that i am in the crypto market i've seen ups and downs and specifically i've said this multiple times in the channel and maybe people will get angry at me about this um the fact is that I don't really care if Shiba Inu is at 2270 or at 3651 or at 45, you know, those levels. Specifically for my portfolio, I don't look at the dollar amount. It doesn't really matter. I know if it's up or down, but if I know that I'm not selling at this level or this level or that level, it doesn't really matter. If you are day trading or swing trading or dollar cost averaging, then yes, it might mean a little bit more to you. The only thing that matters here in this scenario is if the price is going up, then people are more interested and the price is going down. Actually, people are also interested when the price is flat. That's when nobody's interested, <laughs> right? Um, but uh, of course, I would, you know, for your benefit and the people that, you know, stress out about these movements, I w wish that, you know, you guys would be happy, right? So I do have interest that Shiba Inu goes up, uh, but I'm a long-term investor in Shiba Inu. So again, these fluctuations up, down 20, 30, 40%, for me, they're, they're not keeping me up at night because I'm, again, long-term investor. I am very diversified in my portfolio, in stocks, in real estate, in uh, crypto. Um, so even if we dip 7, 8%, um, I'm, I'm still okay, right? My my uh, stock portfolio just hit last week, uh, you know, at the end of the week here, all time highs, right? So, you know, it's like a yin and a yang type of thing. And of course, if, if we go back two months, I'm, I'm up, up a lot, right, uh, on my crypto portfolio as well. So it's all about perspective, zooming out sometimes, yom asal, yom basal, one day honey, one day onion. We're in an onion uh, dip here prior to the halving. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I have not a profit. I don't know if the prices are going to go up or down, uh, but it will be very interesting uh, to see. Uh, I forgot I got this uh, cool hat here from Margex, right? Um, so if you're interested, again, check out the link in the description down below. Um, please, please, please trade responsibly, right? With leverage, you can make a lot of money, but you can also lose a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing. So check out this video here, where, here, right? No, over here. <laughs> <laughs> over here where I explain uh, all about uh, leverage and how to use it, how not to use it, what are the tools and the risks, and and and, and maybe you can get a little bit more um, you know, perspective of, of how to, to do it, right? Uh, so thank you for watching. Of course, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.